my brothers, my sisters, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, bear in mind, best of creation, most noble of all prophets. His father passed away before he was born. Subhanallah. Allah chose for him to be born in a city and at a time when there was no advancement in terms of electricity, running water, the internet, mobile phones, motor vehicles, air aircraft, space jets, whatever else there might have been. But Allah favored him above everyone. He was born. When he was born, his father had already preceded or the death of his father had preceded his birth. So he was born an orphan. This is a consolation for all orphans. It is not because Allah is upset with you that you're an orphan. It is not because Allah does not love you and that's why he took your father away. No, perhaps he loves you more. Perhaps he loves you more. And that's why he took your father away, subhanAllah, made you an orphan. And as Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam grew a little bit older, do you know, he faced a hardship in Badia to Bani Sa'd when he was sent to Halima al Sa'diyya, when he was sent to Halima, the wet nurse. And what happened is, at a certain time, Jibreel alayhi salam came to him and there was the incident of the washing of the heart. At that particular juncture, when he was very young, of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And subhanAllah, he faced a difficulty, a hardship, where he had to come back to his mother. And when he came back to his mother, a little while later, his mother passed away. He was only six years old, according to some of the narrations. So he stayed with his mother for about a year. According to the narrations, if he had come back at the age of five, most of the time he did not spend with his mother. And when he did, the mother then passed away when he was six years old, still very young. So no father, no mother. That is the most loved unto Allah. That difficulty and hardship did not mean that Allah didn't love him. Same applies to any one of us. If you faced hardship, difficulty, something happened to you, remember something. It does not mean Allah does not love you. Perhaps he loves you more than others. Take it in your stride and get closer to him. Thank Allah for whatever you do have. The hardships and challenges were faced by everyone. Subhanallah. More so those who were loved by Allah more. Inna Allah idha ahabba abdan ibtala. When Allah loves a slave, he tests him more and more and more. You gain closeness to Allah and you realize the best thing you ever have is your relationship with your maker. That will never let you down. The more the hardship, we will not entertain shaitan. We will never let him make us lose hope. You might have lost your job. You might have lost so many things. You might have lost family members. Like I said, your parents.